Right, oh right, we've repelled this attack. Yeah, yeah, they're right. off, so this <laughs> is good. the surprise me as well. Right. 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 <laughs> OK, fine. We can see the elephants dying there. A lot of dead elephants on the field now. And if they do this, they've neutralised the Seleucid shock weapon, which That's is a very good way for them to start the battle. That's right, because the Seleucids have now thrown all of their elephants into this battle, and a lot of them are dead, at very little cost to the team. The team has very cheaply got rid of the enemy's elephants. Roger, how are the cavalry getting on? The cavalry are down on the flank. Can we look at the cavalry, please, on the on the far They're left here flank? Harrying this lot. Right. Well, I don't want them to get tied up in harrying them. What we want them to do is get round behind the other side's lines okay. and engage the infantry Let's from behind. Let's pull all the cavalry. Sorry. Can we pull all the cavalry? You doing that? Yeah, well, they are, but they keep getting engaged because their right, flank's well, opening then, up. Then go round them. You're pretty much going to end up behind the enemy's infantry. Yeah, right? we're there now. Right, well, go get them. Despite the hold-up, Al finally unleashes the first phase of his plan. He sends in cavalry supported by elephants to disrupt the Seleucid phalanx from behind. From behind, guys, can we have that top shot? Is that us? That's us coming in. Brilliant. That's us. Brilliant. But the team's cavalry didn't hit and run. They allowed the phalanxes to, to get pick up their spears, to get organized, and look at the team's cavalry now, dead on the ground. They used their cavalry as though it were infantry. They, they let it get into a meat grinder fight with a phalanx, and that's very, very bad. This cover attack uh, have has, we, have has, we, has worked up to a point. <laughs> right. In the, there's none of our guys left, but oh, we've, okay. we seem to have we seem to brought them to a standstill. With neither side prevailing on the flanks, will the team start to concentrate their attention on the rest of the battlefield? I think that now our whole force yeah. should start to roll up towards them so we can take yeah, them on properly. Yeah, I agree. Because we've, 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 we've squished... These guys run off. We've dis disrupted this flank. Yeah. Their cavalry are holding back in case. OK, so what's the plan here? Are we going to... We, we gonna... need to roll the whole, the whole lot up and we need to send our elephants... We need to... Right, what, what I'd like... What I think we want to do is now roll the whole army forward. The bulk of the Egyptian army comprises of phalanx troops. With their 22-foot pikes, they are devastating in a frontal attack, but vulnerable on their sides. Look at what they're doing. Have a look at this. The team is moving up their right, and they're not moving up their no, left no, yet. they're going. As long as that flank isn't left hanging in the air... That's right. ..and they reform a good, solid line, they can be all right still. This is what every good infantry commander looked for. Somebody's moving, and they open up a gap in between. We probably need to firm up our front line by pulling some people back, maybe. OK. okay. You see those three units? We yeah. need to be They're in a defensive a diagonal. formation now. The generals seem to agree, and in the nick of time, tighten their central phalanx lines to avoid being flanked. Unfortunately, on the left of this central phalanx battle, the celebrities' Egyptians face the highly motivated Agarispids, the Seleucids' crack troops. With no support, it's every man for himself. However, in the centre battle, both phalanxes are more equally matched. The team will need to find a way to tip the scales in their favour in this war of attrition. I want you to send your elephants at the impetuous... Avoiding the archers, I Yeah, yeah. With the central battle raging, Al now concentrates on the right flank. He sends his elephants to charge at the enemy's Arab hillmen. There's a point, there's a point yeah. between their heavy infantry yeah. and their light infantry, yeah. and you want to punch at the, at, at the corner. Got it. With Got the it. elephants. That's what I'm doing. Do now, elephants? do you want elephants and cavalry? Yeah. Attack. What Al wanted was three separate battles, one on the left, one in the centre, one on the right. And Al has got what he wanted. The question is, who is going to win each of these three battles? 
On the right flank, the cavalry are intercepted by the Arab hillmen, who hold them up long enough for the enemy archers to rain down a torrent of arrows. This attack proves too much for the team's ill-trained horse, who flee. You see, now they've got, we've got, did we not break them up? What, who's this here? Horses or right. elephants? Those cavalry need to, need to go in behind the enemy lines now. They need to turn left and come in and do everything they can. Unfortunately, Al hasn't realised that he's lost control of the cavalry that were attacked by the Seleucid archers. Instead of running into the heat of battle, they run away. Fortunately for the team, the slower elephants do make it to the rear of the Seleucid line. They seem to be going right round the back of the uh, Seleucid phalanx, which could be a, which could be a good... Uh... It could be good unless those elephants get cut up by these light troops. See, look, the, the Seleucids have got light troops here that they're bringing in behind those elephants. It's now a race between elephants and light forces. Al's original plan was to punch through with all of the elephants. In a team vote, they compromised and are now using only half. Will this prove enough? So what the team has done is they've weakened the Seleucid line with their elephants, but they've got nothing in hand to exploit, to exploit with. Their density is over here, not over here. They didn't coordinate their elephants with their infantry. The elephants play havoc with the central phalanx battle, but are eventually brought down. Meanwhile, further along on the Egyptian left flank, the infantry is suffering at the hands of the Agarisids. The Seleucid infantry have now enveloped the Egyptian left flank. The team is very weak and in tremendous danger on the left. And there's a big gap here. The, the, the team has allowed its army to be broken up into two pieces, and they're not mutually supported. It's all happening. It's all a bit too it's much. It's all happening, and we're getting tonked. <laughs> Marvellous. Although the Egyptian left flank has crumbled, the central phalanx battle remains uncertain. The outcome at this stage is by no means a foregone conclusion. The commanders are not really influencing the battlefield, and what that comes down to is a meat grinder battle. And the team came to this meat grinder with a little bit more meat. And as this meat grinder goes on, if the team has got a bit more flesh left at the end, a bit more of their army left at the end, then they'll win on numbers. Don't give up. No, I'm not giving up. I'm just trying to get we're a about, better perspective. We're about to get completely here. flanked. Yeah, and It's all exactly. going to go horribly wrong. Who are these guys here now? I don't How know. are they doing? I think that's our archers that we've somehow forgotten about. Are you using them? Reggie, if we got the Reggie, if we got the archers on the go. The archers are here. Can we start firing? Where? You know, to, to your um, top uh, left. Toward the enemy. Sort of ten o'clock. At the enemy, Reggie. <laughs> yeah. I've not got many men left now. And the archers that Raji has got left are about to be attacked by the remnants of the Seleucid cavalry. Raji, could you just let me know where you are at the moment? What you're I've doing? I've got I've got 41 archers left who are being attacked by cavalry in the bottom left. With a tranche of Egyptian archers slaughtered, the rest flee to regroup on the far left of the battlefield. Oh Lord, what does that mean? It means we're Rooted. Dying's hard, but comedy's harder, am I right? So I'm told. <laughs> Actually, the team are doing better than they realise. They've broken through the enemy line, enabling their phalanxes to turn and reinforce their weak left flank. The Seleucid cavalry charge in to bolster their ailing phalanx troops, but are no match for the 22-foot Egyptian pikes. Mind you. Keep fighting, uh, everyone. Mind you. <laughs> mind you. They're all, they're going. Go on. They're oh, going. some of them are retreating. Oh. The Seleucid army begin to flee. The central phalanx battle has eventually reached a bloody conclusion. There are heavy losses on both sides, but the team's remaining phalanx troops turn their attention to clearing up the remaining hardcore Seleucids. Just stay where they are. Can they fire? Just stay where they are. Is there fire range? Anyone. Can they fire, fire on the enemy from make, where they yeah, are? Don't move, just enemy. take stock. Yeah, we can fire on the enemy. Great, okay. Can we do that then? Do it. Marvellous. 